Howdy howdy, they call me the Hoff, and today we face the treachery on the other side of this door. Which appears to be a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Oh hey! Random arms dealer. He's a bro. Good to see him. Hey dude, you have all these weapons. Ever mind, like, actually helping me out a little bit? Gun. Is that all? Is that? Thank you. Is that all? Is Thank you. All right, still not broke. Still have over a hundred thousand. You know, good to go. What are you buying? <sighs> now. There is a shooting gallery. Just, just there to the left. I'll be coming back to that. I forget what the rewards are for doing so, though. So I will dick around with that another time. We come back through this room, so there shouldn't be any concern there. But for right now, let's just go down this hallway that doesn't look like a trap at all. Oh no, she's coughing up blood. Hey, that bracelet's gotta be worth something. I'm trying to save your life and I have a dude who will buy expensive things at a high price. Oh no. Oh, keep running away. Oh, this is the safest space. Alright, well, sucks that that feed cut out in a cutscene. Oh well. Uh, in this meantime, um, she got, she got kidnapped again through an elaborate trap that no intelligent person would have fallen for. So... Anyway, check this out. Honigan, what happened? The, tra the transmission got cut off. <laughs> We've jacked the line. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I fucked up that scene where uh, he jacked a line. But it's out there. It's the internet. Alright, make sure everything's as... Is... Okay. So this, if I'm not mistaken, is the most... Uh, like, genuinely frightful level. Um, it won't really be scaring me, because I can't hear much. I have my TV turned down, so most of what I hear, like, for game audio is kind of hampered. Like, the... But if you know there are dudes here, and you do uh, based on the audio that you're fed, but like you look at that, like oh hey yeah that looks normal. But those dudes will be everywhere in this area, and I don't remember where all of them are. So that'll be fun. Isn't because they can like be on walls and on the ceiling and everything, and like see there those two over there. If you if you know what they look like when they're invisible, you're fine. Um, you get different loot based on like what they're doing when you kill them and you need one of each if you want to do the maximum improvement on an item um, or
Ah, uh, jeez. Um. Jeez. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, like, if they're active, they'll give you a green, or if they're hidden, they'll give you a blue. I think if they're about to attack you, they give you a red. And the red one, if I'm not mistaken, is the hardest one to get. There is a trick to getting just a bunch of them later on. Um, and I'll probably end up doing that instead of trying to do it the right way. But... Okay, so I can't hit that guy from here, but he's in there. There he is. Like, if you kill him with that kick, you get a certain color eye off of him. Uh-oh. Where is he? There he is. And it's... I don't mess around with, like, the knife melee business with these guys. I just... I just kill them. Okay. Yeah, your first time playing this game, uh... This... this room will be the one that gets you real... real on edge. And it's not, like, it's not really scary. There's nothing scary in this game. It's just suspenseful. Because you don't know really where they're going to be. You don't know where they're going. You're still figuring out how they operate and how to kill them. Oh, hey, I got a red eye. Um, but later on, there is one exception. Okay, what's this have to say? Oh, hey, Lewis, turns out he knows a whole lot more than he's been letting on. Whatever. That's just part of what makes Lewis so awesome. Uh, anyway, when we get into a, uh... get into like a garden maze a hedge maze um that is the just worst part of this game just so terrifying <laughs> you know what i mean i don't have to ju keep justifying myself it's not scary scary it's just something's gonna jump out at any second and then what and what do you do okay and it's this butterfly lamp So yeah. Oh yeah, let me just drain that water. I'm sure nothing bad will come of that. Just hang on a second while I completely destroy the uh, local ecosystem because I have no idea what what that did. <laughs> Piss these things off. I know it did that. Okay. What? Now, even though these things are invisible... Ah, jeez. No, no, no. Ah. Even though these things are invisible, your, uh... Sight will still show a red dot. Oh, I don't think I've mentioned that yet. Um, your laser will only show a red dot if you're on a target. 
and so even though these things are invisible, that red dot will still appear if you're on them, and this is also true of, like, hidden loot. Okay. Oh no, no, I made a terrible mistake. Okay. There's nothing in here I actually want, so don't know what I was thinking. I think that's all of them for here, which is good, because I am running low on shotgun ammo. Well, thank you for the shotgun ammo. Still dead? No. No, now you're dead. Alright. Got a green eye. I guess it's gonna be a blue eye that I'm gonna have some trouble getting. Boy, this would be a lot easier for me if I could hear my own game, but that ain't the way this recording works. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now this is ridiculous. Anyway. Um, yeah. <sighs> okay. Gotta time this. Uh, who, who, who put that room in there? Who thought that was a good plan? Who designed this castle? It's absurd. That's not your standard defense mechanism. That is just dumb. Like, like the catapults out on the front like, the gates of the castle, you know, fine. Okay, this, that, that, that's it for, that's it for this episode. We will, we will do more when we get back, and we'll deal with, we'll deal with whatever's on the other side of this loading zone when we get back. I'll see you there.